Member of Parliament Milford Nicholas has already taken steps to make communication across the government platform as easy and accessible as possible. Throughout his presentation, the Information and Broadcasting Minister spoke highly of government's strides, all the while embracing the challenges the various divisions collectively face. So when we ask to do an evaluation of that bill, what we recognize is that previously, all and sundry had the ability to roam. All and sundry had an untapped access to high speed internet access on their mobile phones. None of these revenues flowed back to APUA, but $1.2 million was being charged against the government's account, was being charged against, set off against the ABSD that Cape and Wireless would have picked up on behalf of the government. Very few companies in this country have the ability to set off their bills against income of the government. Finances, always another major challenge, and some operatives have been able to enjoy the benefits of a previously lapsed system. According to Minister Nicholas, very few companies can set off accounts without going through the Treasury Department. The system has become untenable, says the Minister, and indicated that going forward, provisions will be made for monies to be recouped. The new platform seeks to also curb what is deemed excessive costs. It is therefore the intention of Minister Nicholas and his team of technicians to facilitate ease of communicating for government employees who may travel abroad for work purposes. So if we provide our public officials, those who have to travel, with the means to be able to communicate wherever and whenever they go, it means that we can totally eliminate the need for paying these high-end costs for roaming charges. With three new online services launched by the end of 2015, Minister Nicholas is promising continued improvement and enhancement of the electronic platform across the board. This is Aisha Killer reporting for ABS News.